Good evening, Knifeaholics. Knifeaholics Anonymous, coming back at you with another video. I'm uh, down at my parents' house um, this weekend. I have some uh, business and a few appointments on Monday in the uh, Chicagoland area. And so I drove from the Milwaukee area down this afternoon. Um, spent some time with my folks. Uh, they're actually all, uh, all in bed right now, so... I'm borrowing my dad's uh, garage from an impromptu uh, video. Um, on my way down, I uh, stopped at a few Walmarts and explored their sporting goods section and came across some uh, clearance knife picks. So uh, I figured I'd do a little show and tell. So this is what I got. Um, we have uh, eight knives, well, ten knives, um, but uh, this came together in one box, and then um, the other uh, seven. Um, it started off with me seeing a $60 blur for 40 bucks and a $50 leak for $30, and um, went up to the register, and this came out to 16 and this came out to 13 and so I went back and all the price tags that were higher for everything else were wrong and they were actually lower I got the Kershaw Cairo uh, for nine uh, originally it was uh, 30 down to 20 or something like that uh, 20 teller uh, Kuro uh, for five or four um, the Gerber uh, Hawthorne uh, that originally was uh, 25 or 30 and I got that for nine uh, these two were 25 a piece or 30 a piece originally I got them down to seven and then this was uh, seven for the set so overall a really good uh, good haul um, these two were on my bucket list for the longest time the blur and the leak uh, so just being able to add these to my bucket list um, is a, a, a awesome. Uh, really excited. Um, so, and then uh, this is also on my bucket list, just a little farther down than the other two. So I'm really happy I was able to get those uh, four Kershaws. Of course, you know my love for Kershaw. And then I'm not a fan, or wasn't a fan, I should say, of. Uh, these cleavers but I bought it now I'm a fan of it uh, I'm looking forward to actually carrying that uh, very very unique uh, I've been seeing them obviously they're quite popular now and everybody's pretty much making them so um, I had no no desire to really buy one but for seven bucks I figured I'd give it a shot and I, I'm kind of falling in love with it and then this Hawthorne I was playing with in the store, it's interesting, it's got a locking system, so you can't open it if it's up, but uh, take the lock off and it opens up, and, uh, oh, uh, that's right here, yep, I'm uh, so used to liner locks that I keep going for the liner, so, um, so yeah, that's the haul. I um, I think it did pretty good. See, so yeah, I went for the flipper on that. I'm so used to flippers. I went for the flipper instead of the thumb stud. All my knives, I mean, maybe besides a handful, have flippers. So, and I'm not even going to open those up. I need two hands to open those up. Those are still really, really stiff. But, um, so yeah, reviews will come. I can't wait to, to get these on, on review. Uh, I know I've been promising a lot of reviews. Let me see if I can turn this around again here. There we go. Uh, a lot of reviews for a lot of different uh, knives that I've been recently picking up. Uh, I bought that uh, Kershaw Ember. Uh, I need to review that CRKT Spew. i got people in a couple of Facebook groups that are kind of hounding me for some reviews, so... Um, to really give a good idea of how these uh, knives do for me, 
uh, I decided I'm going to do a couple of theme videos. I'm going to do um, a week uh, where I carry nothing but small knives, uh, namely the uh, diode and the uh, ember that I just picked up, uh, maybe a few other ones, uh, maybe a little smaller even than uh, those two, uh, and, and basically just carry small knives. Um, see if the small knives will do the jobs that I, I normally do throughout the day, day at work. Um, see what the pros and cons are of the knives, as well as to carrying a, a small knife. Uh, as well as doing the same thing with the, um, the spew. Um, uh, do uh, a couple of small um, fixed blades, and that's all I carry. And see um, pros and cons of carrying a fixed blade compared to a uh, um, folder. As, uh, as well as um, if it can handle the, 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 the normal tasks that I do every day. So um, that's it uh, I have for right now. Like I said, uh, it's late, um, later. So um, everybody have a, a great uh, Saturday night with lots of it. And have a great uh, Sunday and uh, an enjoyable week. Um, as always, be safe, be humble, and... Happy cutting. Take care, guys.